Hello everyone and welcome. Um, today we are going to talk about something really cool. Hi everyone and welcome. I am Agatha Decroix. I created this channel to help beginners, rookies and newbies to start a happy and relaxed gluten-free lifestyle without dying in the process. How to do a gluten-free diet and not die. Today we are going to talk about the start of the start of the start of everything. These are all the tips I wish I would have known before starting a gluten-free diet and that would have helped a lot. I felt a little bit lonely in the process and I didn't know what to do, what to cook. And I obviously started to panic because when you suddenly realize you have to quit gluten, your life kind of becomes a mess. So I'm going to give you five answers to five main questions I had before I started a gluten-free diet. Okay, first thing first. There are a lot of reasons that can make you start a gluten-free lifestyle. First, you might have been diagnosed celiac or with a huge gluten allergy. Second, you might have been diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome, which is completely, completely, completely different, but requires the same gluten-free diet. Third, you might want to quit gluten because your kids are gluten-free or celiac or allergic or intolerant and it's going to be easier for all the family to have the same diet. Or you might have chosen the gluten-free diet because you want a better, healthier lifestyle. Take care of this inside. And last but not least, you might have heard that gluten-free diet helps to lose weight. Is it true? Is it not true? Well, we are going to answer this question quite soon. So number one, ask yourself, what is your motivation with a gluten-free diet? This is a very important question because if you want to adopt a gluten-free diet like temporarily for a weight loss purpose, you might want to come back to a gluten-full lifestyle. But if you have been diagnosed with a celiac disease or any super hard, tough, horrible gluten allergy, you will definitely have to adopt the gluten-free lifestyle your whole life. This is an important point because it leads to my number two. Number two is very important and you might take that under high consideration. Gluten-free lifestyle has almost no coming back. If you start a gluten-free lifestyle, you might want to do the same gluten-free lifestyle your whole life. So if it's only a purpose of weight loss for a couple of months, I would highly recommend that you lower gluten, but going from gluten-full lifestyle to gluten-free lifestyle to gluten-full lifestyle again is kind of painful. Because when you start a gluten-free lifestyle, the inflammation in your body decreases a lot. And then if you put inflammating food again, you might feel some consequences. So once you stop gluten, you will feel way better, probably. Even if you're not intolerant or allergic, you might feel way better. But the thing is that you are going to feel way more sensitive once you eat gluten again. Even if you're not allergic, it might be a little bit like heavy on the stomach. This is going to be a little bit uncomfortable because the gluten-free life is so great and so full of benefits. That is going to be a little bit hard to come back to a normal, might I say, lifestyle with gluten consumption. I wrote an ebook on how to get abs and it's on Caterpie Amazon. I'm going to leave the link somewhere here or in the description box. I don't know yet. It's going to be a surprise. And in my ebook, I use a metaphor. Your body is like a room. I know. This is so deep. If your room is messy, you enter this room and throw a banana skin on the floor, nobody will really notice. Though if you clean the room and you enter the room and throw a banana skin on the floor, you are going to see immediately the banana skin. So your body is the same. The cleaner you eat, the more sensitive you might feel you're becoming because it's not exactly that you're becoming more sensitive. It's because it's easier to feel the discomfort inside a clean room. So you might take that in consideration. Three, gluten-free diet is a complete makeover of your diet. 
don't worry, in a good way. The gluten-free diet is not just a replacement of gluten-full food for, for gluten-free food. It's a whole makeover. Because if you have a certain lifestyle, you might eat some, I don't know, pasta, pizza, cookies and everything with gluten. And you might want to start a gluten-free diet and you just swap the gluten products for gluten-free products. But this is not the good way, trust me. Because first, it is going to cost you a fortune. Gluten-free products are more expensive and also they are sometimes unhealthy. They can have a lot of starch, a lot of sugar, depends on which one, of course. And if you don't fall in the excess, nobody will notice. But if you are used to buy a package of cookies every three days, this is going to become slightly more expensive for you. So my purpose with number three is to recommend you to create another way of eating and another way of grocery shopping and another way of choosing food. It is possible to eat gluten-free for a very low price. It is possible to eat gluten-free super delicious and super creative. Everything is possible. So yes, I highly recommend that you do a full makeover of your diet. You start to think about what is your diet like and what you could, I don't know, improve in some way. So it's gonna be the Kiss Cool Double Effect because you quit gluten because you want to lower your inflammation and just feel better in general. But you also have the opportunity to do a complete makeover of your diet and eat way healthier. Which leads me to number four. Gluten-free diet is not restrictive. It is just different. I always try to say that to everybody because they're like, Oh, Agatha, you cannot eat any wheat, cookies, gluten, pasta, pizza, hamburgers? How horrible. Don't worry, it's not that horrible. I wish I would have known that before going gluten-free, but well, nobody told me, so I'm telling you, this is not a super hard diet when you have to feed on steamed broccoli and lean chicken breasts. You can have an abundant, creative, gluten-free lifestyle and very relaxed if you just improve your organization. So obviously, the moment I knew I had to quit gluten, my first thought was Oh my god, I'm not going to be able to eat anything! This is the first thought of everybody that has to quit gluten. So don't worry, first you have to organize your lifestyle another way and i'm going to explain here in another video this one is going to be very long how to do this and how to meal plan and how to organize your gluten-free lifestyle second point there are replacements so if you are a fan of beer or pizza or hamburgers there are gluten-free beers pizza and hamburgers options everywhere well not everywhere but in some places if you want to see the positive side is that it's not good to eat everyday pizza, hamburgers, and beers. So you might lower your pizza, hamburger, and beer intake and have kind of an ideal body condition. Which leads me to my number five. You don't have to give up hamburgers and pizza. It is mind-blowing how gluten-free hamburgers and gluten-free pizza can be delicious and, and very satisfying. In one way, you kind of train your palate and become more, I don't know, maybe pickier on the flavors. Because if you have the tendency to eat a lot of junk food, the junk food is full of salt, sugar, and saturated fats, and it provokes a lot of inflammation inside your body. When you stop that and start to eat gluten-free and healthier food, you are going to become pickier because your taste buds are going to be like Dude, have you heard about this parsley wild mushroom quinoa? Oh no, but I have this pumpkin cinnamon almond latte I want you to take. So yeah, you won't be giving up burgers and pizza, but you are going to become pickier with the taste of them. If you want the three options of my gluten-free pizza, the super quick, the super crunchy, and the super low carbs, I will link this video somewhere around here. So this is it. These are five answers to five big questions I had when I knew I had to start a gluten-free diet. 
and I was feeling I was dying in the process. Stay tuned because very soon I'm gonna make another video about how to start a gluten-free diet for total beginners, newbies, and rookies. If you like this video, thumbs up. Of course, subscribe if you're interested in gluten-free diet, if you wanna start one, if you don't know yet how to start one, or if you have kids or spouses or partners who are starting a gluten-free diet. I wish you have a beautiful day, all my gluten-free love and lights. Thank you.